I hope you'll find this on a local bookshelf and follow along. The Opposite by Tom McRae and illustrated by Elena Odriozola. When Nate woke up one morning, the opposite was standing on the ceiling, staring down at him. You can't stand on the ceiling, said Nate. Get down. But then the opposite happened and it stayed where it was. Dad, cried Nate, there's an opposite on the ceiling. Where, said Nate's father, poking his head round the door. There, said Nate, pointing up. But then the opposite happened and it wasn't there anymore. Come on, Nate, said his father. You don't usually make up stories to stay in bed. Nate came downstairs for breakfast. His mother filled his bowl with cornflakes. You can add the milk yourself, she said. Nate always poured his own milk. He was very good at it. Nate picked up the carton in both hands and gently poured the milk over the cereal. But then the opposite happened and... Instead of the milk pouring down, it poured up, splashing against the ceiling and then dripping down all over the tablecloth. The opposite grinned in the corner. Oh, Nate, said his mother, look what you've done. It wasn't me, cried Nate, pointing to the corner. It was the opposite. But the opposite had already happened, and it wasn't there anymore. Come on, Nate, said his mother. You're not usually so clumsy. At school, Nate's teacher asked the children to paint a picture of their favorite animal. Nate got out his paint and paper and brush and started to make an elephant. But then the opposite happened, and instead of the paint going on the paper, it went on Nate's head then on the floor, then on the walls, then on his teacher. The paint went everywhere except on the paper, which stayed blank and clean. The opposite crouched under the teacher's desk and giggled. Oh, Nate, said his teacher, you're not usually so messy. It wasn't me, cried Nate, pointing under the desk. It was the opposite. He's under there. But then the opposite happened and it wasn't there anymore. Nate thought for a moment. He had an idea. Slowly, he pointed at the empty space in front of him. I mean, said Nate, that there isn't an opposite standing right in front of me. And then the opposite happened. Suddenly, the opposite was standing right in front of Nate. It blinked with surprise and looked a little worried. The work I have done today is messy and untidy, Nate announced. And then the opposite happened. The opposite bared its teeth, but it was too late. Nate's painting was now as tidy and perfect as you please. And, said Nate, smiling, I have so enjoyed having the opposite with me today, and I do hope it will stay around forever and ever and ever. And then the opposite happened. With a shriek and a hiss, the opposite disappeared in a puff of green and yellow smoke. And that was that. Very quickly, Nate's teacher and class persuaded themselves that they had never seen the opposite and that none of it had ever happened. But Nate knew what had happened, and now you do too. And if you ever meet an opposite, you will know how to deal with it. When Nate woke up the next morning, the opposite was standing on his ceiling, staring it down at him. Oh, good, said Nate. I hope this story goes on forever and ever. The End